Hi everyone. Uh, so in my last video I mentioned that my HTC Vive had crapped out on me last Thursday night and a couple people in the comments asked me if I could put out an update video once I got the issue fixed where I could talk about uh, what the problem was and how I fixed it. So I'm happy to say that I did get the HTC Vive fixed so I can keep making Vive videos. The fix was actually pretty simple so um, Basically, I was not able to see anything in the lenses uh, through the headset display, but I was able to see that it was working in Steam VR, and I was able to turn on the VR mirror, and I could move around the headset, and everything looked just fine in the mirror. So it turned out to be an issue with the HDMI cable in the 3-in-1 cable, and the fix was just that you buy a new HDMI cable, and you plug it into this little top slot here, and uh, run it along with the rest of your cables. And you can't just buy any old HDMI cable. Uh, it has to be at least 15 feet long, uh, and it has to actually be a pretty high quality cable because it needs to run uh, 1080 by 1200 resolution at 90 FPS to two screens at under one millisecond response time. And not every HDMI cable can do that. So it has to be a high quality cable, but it doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive cable. The one I bought was $15. So I'll put a link to that. Uh, in the description and also it helps if it's a small cable so you can actually put the little hat back on here and cover up all your cable connections which you can do with the cable that I'm going to put in the description there you go so um, yeah this is an issue that has been going on for me for a while actually so it's been over a month uh, since this started happening. So initially this issue happened uh, and I was able to plug my 3-in-1 HDMI cable directly into my graphics card and get an image back on my Vive. So I basically assumed that it was anything except 3-in-1 cable. So I tried all the different solutions. Uh, I tried getting a new HDMI cord between my link box and my computer. I tried the mini DP to DP cord. That didn't work. Uh, and I even, H I even RMA'd my link box because I went over the issue with HTC support online and they determined that it was my link box and they asked me to RMA it. And I even said in the process, I said, um, can I send you my three in one cable as well just in case that's the issue? And the guy said, no, you can't. Only send us the link box. We've determined that it has nothing to do with your three in one cable and it's only your link box. So I sent them my link box waited two weeks, they sent back the link box with a little note that said, oh, your link box is perfectly fine and we didn't do anything to it. It's probably your video card that's defective. So I just assumed that that was the case and I went on with the uh, cable plugged into my video card for um, about a month. And then on Thursday, it finally just completely crapped out and I couldn't use it connected to the video card anymore. So um, at that point, I took the small HDMI cable that, is connect, that you connect from your link box to your computer and I plugged it into the top of the Vive and then into my video card and I saw that it was working with that. So that showed me that yeah, it probably is the three-in-one one cable and I just ordered this HDMI cable off of Amazon and it fixed the issue. Now, of course, it kind of sucks that I have this additional cable considering the Vive is already a mess of cables, but I'm just gonna get some twisty ties and I'm gonna tie it on here and uh, one of the benefits is that I actually can plug this into my link box and it works. So that tells me that it was the three in one cable all along. Not the link box, not anything else. It was just a weird defect. And um, apparently Valve is gonna start selling uh, replacement Vive parts sometime in July. So I'm just gonna use this janky little mess of wire solution until I can buy a new 3-in-1 cable because I do not want to go through the RMA process and put my Vive out of commission for two plus weeks uh, when I can use it and it's just a little less effective. So yeah, uh, that's the issue I had. That's how I fixed it. Um, I'll be putting the link in the uh, description. So if anyone else has this issue where you have black screens and you can't see anything and everything appears to be fine in Steam VR and you can use the VR window, then it is very likely your 3-in-1 HDMI cable. Obviously you should try a couple other things first. One of the first things I would do 
is get a new HDMI cable, a small HDMI cable for um, the link box to the computer and then plug your old HDMI cable directly in here and into your link box and then the new HDMI cable from your link box to your computer and that will confirm if the issue was with your 3-in-1 cable or if it is indeed your link box. Obviously there's multiple causes to this problem, not necessarily always going to be the same solution that I had, but if you confirm that it is your 3-in-1 cable then this HDMI cable that I linked in the description should do the trick. Uh, it's one that someone else linked on Reddit and they said it worked for them. I can confirm that it worked for me, so it's worked for at least two people. So uh, if you're having this issue, check that out. And yeah, so I'm going to get back to making Vive videos and trying to put out daily videos. I'm going to get back to my playthrough of Left Hand Path and trying to put that, that out concurrently. And uh, so while this was gone, I just basically played the Oculus Rift and I played Elite Dangerous. I did not have it in my heart to play any other Oculus games and make videos about them, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I'm just glad I got it working again and I can play Vive games because I really love the Vive <laughs> a lot more than the Oculus Rift. So yeah, thank you for watching this. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. And uh, have a great day and goodbye.